assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am odo technical developer in today's video we are going to talk about uh, how to open a list view by but by clicking a button so for this purpose we will have to write uh, a code in the python in order to return the action and then we will have to mention the list view inside the action uh, so that we can open up uh, so that we can open the records in the list view so for example we have a real uh, time scenario for this purpose uh, so for example the client wants uh, to see the sales history uh, and the sales order lines like um, yeah, for example here uh, we want to add a button just after the price unit price so that uh, when someone click on the button like sales history then it opens up uh, all the sales uh, lines uh, that are uh, for this product so uh, we can just do it uh, by adding a button here and then we will have to call a python method uh, for this purpose and uh, so uh, i have added i have created this module for this purpose the name of the module is od sales cust od sales custom and i have added models directory views directory and then uh, init file and then manifest file so i have already uh, added sales.py file and sales.xml file so this is the module structure that i have already added before the video and in the video i will show you how uh, we can code for this so first of all what we will have to do we will have to inherit this model so let me just go to pycharm so the model name uh, how we can find it so if we open this um, uh, lines uh, and here if you bring the cursor or any uh, or any field you can see here the object is sale.order.line so from this we can see that the uh, model name is sale.order.line so first of all i have to import uh, models fields api and then underscore this underscore is used to uh, make the uh, text translatable so here we will have to define a class sale order line and then models dot model it should be of model and model and we will have to use the keyword inherit and the model name is sales dot order dot line as we already know it so here uh, I have inherited the model and then after inheriting the model we will have to create a button or just after the sales uh, price so for this purpose uh, let me just check uh, the external ID of this uh, form view and then we can uh, reach this point so this is the form view and let me just check the code for this form view in Adams and uh, let me just uh, switch it to XML so let me just search for it so this is uh, the view because it is inside the sales module and it is exactly matching so this is the view that we are looking for so let me just copy this uh, code and then uh, let me paste it here like this uh, just uh, close these tags and then select this code and then uh, go to here and then click this reformat code or uh, to reformat the code so here we will have to change it like something um, we can say as uh, sales history view so let me just uh, make the spelling correction like this sales history and here we can change it to that sales dot history dot view and uh, here we need to add the inherit uh, field name is equal to inherit id and then ref is equal to here we will have to add the uh, id which we want to inherit so for example we want to inherit this view so let me just copy it and then paste it like this and then close it so this is it we have inherited the form view and then here we will have to use the x path uh, to uh, add a button just after the unit price so for this purpose i don't want to waste your time again and again because i have already explained uh how to add an x path in the in the previous videos 
so i will uh, just uh, copy the code from here because i have already added it so here we have added a position after uh, this feed unit price and this is the button that i have added the name is open sale order lines we can uh, add whatever name we want but we will have to define the python method with the same name whatever we define here and then we have added a string for this button so here the, the type is object because we want to call a, a python method using this button and then class o line this is a css styling so this is the button and name uh, or uh, you can see the label so and then we will have to uh, define a method inside python with this name so let me define it a def uh, python method name and then uh, self so uh, here first of all uh, i here i will have to return an action and inside the action i will have to pass uh, the domain and uh, the tree view uh, id so uh, like for example what what kind of tree view i want to open up so for this purpose i will have to create a tree view uh, before adding this python method so i have already added a tree view uh, for before this video so without wasting time i will just uh, copy the code from here and then i will paste it so this is the tree view that i have added this is the id this is the name and this is the model uh, as we want to open up all the sealer lines for a specific product uh, when we click on the button but then, so therefore i have added the tree view for this uh, model sale that order dot line so this is the tree as i have already explained about the tree view i don't want to explain it uh, too much so let me just uh, talk about the optional so if you want to uh, add a functionality like i want to add a field here and it should be hide by default then you can add here optional is equal to uh, hide so it will be by default hide and you can show it just on in the list view so then uh, i have to define the python method so inside the python method so first of all i have uh, i will have to add a domain that of what kind of uh, records i want to see so here um, i want to see uh, the records uh, whose a product id is equal to the id uh, uh, is equal to the current uh, sale order line id so I, here i will have to add product id equal to uh, self uh, so uh, here uh, i can add self dot order self dot uh, product id dot id so here uh, this is uh, the domain that i have added that i only open up I want to open the records uh, in which this product is added and I want to see only the sales data related to this partner that is selected on the uh, that is selected on the sale order so for this purpose I will have to use the relation field like order ID dot partner uh, equal to uh, self dot order ID because partner is not defined on uh, order line so i will have to use the relational field which is many to one order id and then partner id dot id so this is the domain that i have added and then uh, here i will uh, have to write the return function and then here in the return uh, statement we will have to return the action so let me just open up any of the default action that is defined in the xml so for this purpose ir dot actions dot act window like this windows so our uh, window uh, this is the action so for the action there is a name a raise model and then view mode domain context and then views so let me just open it and then let me see to add uh, something like first of all we will have to add the name which is my directory and for the name i will add underscore and then inside this uh, brackets i will add the name like sales uh, history so why have i have added the underscore because i want to make it as translatable and then the next thing is uh, like a raise model so uh, raise model is uh, in this case is sale dot order dot line and then uh, the next thing uh, like uh, we define it is view mode 
so here i want to uh, open it in uh, like a tree view uh, i will add it like this and then tree and form and the next thing is uh, let me check here is a domain we can add a domain here like uh, this one so then uh, we can add context uh, so for the context we can pass some default values but here i want to keep it as empty so let me just keep it as empty because this is not our topic for today and then we will have to add type uh, like uh, the model which is ir.actions.act window and then we will have to add uh, views uh, so views should be like uh, we want to uh, return the views uh, so uh, like we have added here the tree view so we want to call this tree view uh, in order to open the records in this uh, view so for this purpose we will have to add like self dot env uh, dot ref and then here we will have to write the module name od sale custom and then the uh, tree view and here we will have to add like a tree so we want to open up in a tree view like this and uh, then uh, this is uh, the Python method that we have added. So uh, then you will have to add uh, this uh, cell.py in init file, and then these models should be uh, imported here in the outside init file, and then you will have to add uh, the sys.xml file in data directory. So let me uh, restart Odoo service and then uh, go to uh, apps. So here let me install the module so uh, so here um, so here go to apps and then let me search for the module so we cannot see it let me update the app list so let me refresh it and here we can see this is the module that we have recently developed so let me click the install button to install the module and then let's see how uh, if it's upgraded successfully so it has been upgraded successfully so let's see the feature that we have added so go to sales module and then open any sale order so here we can see the button that has been added like sales history so let me click on this uh, button so if we click here we got an error message that not enough values to unpack so let me just check what the problem is so go to by charm here uh, we have added a uh, tree view domain and then uh, type and then views. So here we have made a mistake. Here uh, we need to add this outside this bracket and we need to make it as ID and then here we need to add uh, like a tree view. It should be open up as a tree view. So let me restart the service again and then let me click this button again so uh, we got another error message it says that partner in the leaf so i got what a uh, mistake we have done so if we check here we have added order id that partner but actually the mo the field name is partner id so let me refresh it again and then uh, click the button again to see the effect so here we can see it worked and uh, we can see that uh, this product has been used in these uh, sales orders which is a three and two this one is three and then it is used in another one so this is the customer and this is the product description you know price on this uh, so all these things uh, so if you check the list view so this is the same list view that we have uh, developed like you can see here so uh, this way you can return an action and open a tree view as well as a form view so uh, thank you guys for watching this video so i will give you an assignment if you want to try your knowledge so uh, in the purchase module similarly uh, you will have to add a button just after the unit price and add um, and when someone click on the uh, purchase history button then it should show the purchase history same like the sales history in this case 
so uh, if you have done that assignment you can uh, comment below and you can also join our discord group if you face any issue during your uh, assignment then you can ask in the discord group so the link is in the description of this video so go and check out the discord group thank you